What is going on, Bless Squad? It's your girl Chloe as me, back in the cut with another hygiene video. And in today's video, your girl is going to be doing a video. I usually always do these videos. Do not mind my hair, it's not fully dry yet. I usually always do these videos when I get done finishing like a lot of products. So basically, like I mentioned in my recent empties videos, I have been going through the products that were already like full. In my beginning empties videos, I was trying to empty out products that were already used. All these products that I'm going to be showing you guys were like full. So it took me two months to go through all these products. Which honestly, it's still a lot of products for two months, if you want to be real. Let me show you guys these super cute pants that I just got from this store called Zoomies the other day. It is, they're so cute, I can't even deal. And then I have on like a cheap little leotard from um, Target. So yeah, anyway, let's jump into this video right now, sis. And let me show you guys all the products that I have been using in the past two, that I have used up in the past two months. Okay, so the very first product that I am seeing is this Dove Gentle Exfoliating Nourishing Body Wash. This right here I actually finished out this morning. Um, Literally my favorite, one of my favorite Dove body washes. It smells so good, it's so refreshing, like, if you have to take a super morning shower, like a super early morning shower, this right here will refresh you and make you feel like so revived. So I really, really, really love it. It's definitely one of the cleanest scents ever. It also has like cute little gentle exfoliating beads in it and it really does exfoliate you. And I just love how it makes me smell. It's also very moisturizing. So I'm gonna go ahead and rate this body wash a 10 out of 10. I already have my backup because I love this body wash. I also went through a whole thing of raw sugar bath fizzers. Oh my gosh, these were bomb. I mentioned in my recent video that I don't really see like a huge, huge difference when I use bath bombs or anything of the sort. But I just love how they make the bath water look and I just love how these work. Like they did not irritate me. They made the bath water look so cool. They did not stain my hands. They didn't stain my body. They didn't stain my tub or anything of the sort. I've had that happen to me before, so yes. So overall, I really did love these. Um, they were supposed to purify, replenish, and glow. I guess I wasn't really looking out too much for that, but I'm pretty sure it did do something. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and rate these a 10 out of 10 because I really did enjoy them. I also finished out this CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser this morning and this right here is for normal to oily skin. I was using this every single day. Do not mind my breakout right now you guys. I have been using some detox products so right here in my T-zone I've been breaking out a little bit. But anyway so yeah I went ahead and I went ahead and finished this this morning. I love this cleanser and honestly I don't really have oily skin but this cleanser like was bomb bomb. Like it didn't even dry out my face. It just was super gentle. It has no fragrance or anything of the sort so it was really good for my face and I really did enjoy it. I will be purchasing, purchasing this product again so definitely a 10 out of 10. I also finished out this Johnson's Bedtime Baby Bath like bedtime soap or whatever for kids. I love this scent. It worked so good for my bubble bath honestly like I literally loved it. I will say that it didn't really get too too foamy but it just made my bathtub smell super good. It's, a, it's such a relaxing scent. Um, so yeah, I used it as a bubble bath and it worked very, very, very good. I just got this at Ollie's recently and like I said, I'm super obsessed with the fragrance of this product. So I'm going to go ahead and rate this. Since it didn't really get as bubbly as I thought it would, I'm just going to rate it at an 8 out of 10. I also finished out this Baby Magic Hair and Body Wash, the original baby scent, um, and I used this as a bubble bath as well. I have to say that it made my bathtub smell so, like it made my bath water smell so, 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 so good, but it also did not get that soapy at all. And it's not really a bad thing, but I guess I do kind of like more soap in my bathtub. Once again, it's not a bad thing, but would I prefer it? Yes. So will I be repurchasing this product? No. Um, and I'm just going to go ahead and rate it like a 8 out of 10 as well. Actually, a 7 out of 10 because this one was like way less foamy than the other one. But I am so obsessed with the fragrance of this product, product but I will not be purchasing that again unfortunately. As you guys know I had finished up this Body Ecology Coconut Hibiscus body cream. I got this for $1.99 at Ollie's. One of the best body creams I have ever had. I finished it so fast. It was so amazing. I think I finished it about three nights ago um, and I was using it every single night and it was working so amazing. I loved it. It made my skin smell super good. It works just as good as any Bath and Body Works body cream. So I'm going to go ahead and rate that a 10 out of 10 as well. Definitely suggest it. Yes, so I also finished out this Soap and Glory Scrub em and Leave em Body Scrub. Now the weird thing with this was, you know how body scrubs, if they're super abrasive, they leave your skin feeling super soft? Well, this was not really abrasive, like not all that abrasive, and it left my skin feeling like way softer than most scrubs do. Weird, right? It might have been like what was inside of the formula, like whatever product they um, included in the formula. It was super bomb. It has a piece of hair on it. But it also smelled super good, and I just loved using it every single day because... Oh, 
Like I could not get over it. I had to use it every single day because it made me smell super good and it also had my skin feeling super soft. So I definitely enjoyed that. Um, I would definitely be purchasing another one and I will rate that a 10 out of 10. I also just finished up this Victoria's Secret Pure Seduction Fragrance Mist last night. Um, I have to say that I'm not the biggest fan of Pure Seduction like I used to be. I think I've kind of worn out the scent. Like, I've kind of, like, worn it out for myself. I've worn it way too much, and I'm kind of done with it. I'm not going to sit up here and say it's a nasty fragrance because it's a great fragrance, but I'm saying I've got tired of it. I'm still going to rate it a 10 out of 10. Um, I feel like the longevity of this body spray, it doesn't really last that long, but it does last longer than most body sprays from Victoria's Secret do. I'm just going to go ahead and rate it a 10 out of 10. Actually, a 9 out of 10 because I did get tired of it. It doesn't last that that long, but it's still, like, a great body spray. So I'm going to go ahead and rate it a 9 out of 10. I also finished this out. If you guys have been like loyally watching my channel you guys know this is my favorite hair product in the whole entire world like I use it in my hair today it is the Mayo Avocado Moisturizing Hair Milk this stuff is my favorite curly hair product ever it makes my hair feel so amazing it gives me great definition um it's not really strongly scented which I was really hoping that it would when I bought it because I love strongly scented products but I honestly don't even care because of how good it works so I'm gonna go ahead and rate this a hundred out of ten definitely suggest to all my curly girls it is so amazing this is my favorite mouthwash wash at the moment <clears throat> it is the Thera Breath dentist formulated fresh breath oral rinse I use it every single day like every single morning and night because I love to brush my teeth morning and night but it helps to fight your bad breath for 24 hours I wouldn't really say 24 hours I would say mostly like maybe seven or eight hours maybe but it definitely works way better than any normal mouthwash because they have alcohol in them the normal ones do I still love those mouthwash those mouthwashes though I can't even hold you guys up sometimes I use them at nighttime but this Thera Breath definitely works so 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 good 10 out of 10 for sure. I also finished up this Soap and Glory Clean A Colada Hydrating Body Wash. I loved this body wash. Like, I loved it so much. It was super good. Um, I'm going to rate it a 9 out of 10, though. A 9.5 out of 10 because it didn't get, like super super like soapy like you know that thick lather it didn't really get like that but it still did lather up really good the scent was so amazing it made my skin smell good feel good and so definitely a 9.5 out of 10 i do suggest this product they do carry it at target i also finished out this beach flower lotion by pink um, I loved this. This right here was so amazing. It literally smells so good. It's such a refreshing, yes, it's such a refreshing scent. It smells like summertime. It smells like you just hopped right out of the shower. I've been through two of these bottles. Um, I actually, you know them old pump things on pink lotions that were like that wide and they had a pump on the top? I went through one of those before along with the body spray. And then I went through this, um, lotion along with another body spray, which is right here. But I'm gonna go ahead and rate this a 10 out of 10, I definitely suggest. And then here is the matching body spray in the scent in the scent beach flower i did not like the spray bottle if you guys have been watching my recent empties videos i do not like pink spray bottles i like the victoria's secret ones i just do not like the pink ones they literally shoot straight out and it like it's weird like it's not a mist it's just a straight line and i did not like that so i'm gonna go ahead and rate this product a six out of ten because the sprayer like the nozzle really ruined it but the fragrance was so amazing so i'm gonna go ahead and rate it a actually i guess i'll give it a, a seven out of ten because i can't can't let the nozzle ruin the scent. I also went through a Calgon Take Me Away Morning Glory Fragrance Mist. You guys know if you have been watching my channel for a minute and if you have been watching a lot of my videos, I mention this product so much on my channel. It is such a cheap body spray, the cheapest body spray I probably own. And it works the best out of most of them. Like I'm telling you, it's one of the strongest body sprays in the whole entire world. It smells so refreshing. It's just bomb. Like it really wakes you up as well. Like if you have to get up early for work like this right here is gonna wake you up like a mug it is so refreshing i love it 10 out of 10 and the longevity of this product is a 10 out of 10 as well i also went through some charmin flushable wipes this is the 40 pack i loved these they smelled so good i love the little packaging too they smell amazing they worked really good and then i also went through and there's something in here that leaked like it's oily but i also went through this Equate Flushable Wipe. Super bomb. I gotta say that the Equate ones are low-key my favorite and they're super cheap. They're definitely my favorite. I just love how Flushable Wipes leave you fresh after you get done going number two and you feel clean and it's just way better to have Flushable Wipes any day over tissue because I was wetting my tissue, which it wasn't that bad, but it's super like, it's much more easy to have Flushable Wipes and they just have a scent to them. So it's also super bomb. 
so I definitely suggest flushable wipes any day. I also finished out this Dove Rejuvenating Pomegranate and Hibiscus Tea Nourishing Body Wash. I have to say that I did get tired of the scent. The body wash didn't get as soapy as I was expecting because most Dove body washes get like mad soapy. Um, I'm going to go ahead and rate this a 6.5 out of 10. The scent is a beautiful refreshing scent but I got tired of it. It wasn't my favorite and the consistency of this product like the formula was much different than most Dove body washes. So I'm going to go ahead and rate this a 6.5 out of 10. Would I repurchase? No. I also finished out this Dollar Tree bath soak um, in the scent Vanilla. I do have to say that it took a while for the little beads, like the little salt things or whatever to dissolve, but it did work really good. I use it when I soak my feet and I use it also when I'm taking a bath and it worked good, especially for only being a dollar, so definitely good. I'm going to go ahead and rate that a 9.5 out of 10. I also finished out this Ooh So Sexy Victoria's Secret Velvet Body Cream. I loved this as well. 10 out of 10. I would repurchase it any day. It smells super good. It had my skin smelling next level bomb. This was amazing. It had like a vanilla twist to it. Oh my gosh, it was so, 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 so bomb. I loved it. So definitely suggest this if you ever see it. It is the Uso Sexy Victoria's Secret Velvet Body Cream. It was bomb. I finished out this Dove Advanced Care Clear Tone Nutrient Moisture 48 Hour Deodorant. And this right here, I have to say that it didn't really help the tone of my underarms. I kind of struggle a little bit with like darker underarms. Not too bad, but I'm kind of trying to get rid of it. And I have not been really feeling like doing the lemon and baking soda. I need to though. But yeah, um, I have to say that it didn't really work as good as most Dove deodorants as far as keeping you fresh all day but i'm gonna go ahead and rate it a 7 out of 7.5 out of 10 because it really wasn't that bad it's just the fragrance was like actually it wasn't too bad it's just the fragrance i got kind of tired of because it kind of smelled old it kind of smelled expired a little bit but it wasn't like nasty but it was just weird would i ever purchase it no do i suggest it no um, but you know, I also finished out this Clinique Acne Solutions Clarifying Lotion. Um, this is a toner. It works super, super good for acne. It is, it is a little bit pricey, but it works so amazing. Like I actually love this. Like I can actually say that this does show results. Like this actually does the job for acne. 10 out of 10, I definitely suggest. I love the Clinique Acne Solutions line. I also finished up the, um, Acne Solutions Cleansing Gel. I love it. It is kind of liquidy, but it does last a really long time and it really does does work it is definitely a fast acting cleanser as far as acne goes I'm definitely gonna go ahead and rate it as 10 out of 10 do I suggest for all my acne sisters out there our brothers definitely yes sis yes sis I then finished out this cherry pop fragrance mist this right here I've been through like two other bottles of it and I do get tired of the scent very fast but it, it is a beautiful beautiful scent I did get tired of it but it's like a beautiful scent like I can't even hold you guys up like it doesn't really smell like cherry pops like cherry to me it has like a hint of cherries, but it also has like this vanilla scent to it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and rate it a 9 out of 10. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and rate it a 7 out of 10 because it did not last like at all, like at all. Like as soon as I walked out the door, I could not smell it. I also finished out this. Oh my gosh, sis. I have so many good things to say about this. This Herbal Essences Totally Twisted Curl Boosting Mousse. Yo, have you ever woke up and you just have to pull your hair back in a ponytail, but then you have that poof ball back there, but you don't really feel like putting water and cream in it and stuff like that? This is going to do you justice. This right here, as soon as you put it on your curls, like if you were to have to refresh your curls, even if you have to wear your curls down the next day and you don't really feel like refreshing it, like going through the whole process, get this right here. Put it all on your hair and then you can rake it through. It immediately detangles your hair, like immediately. I have so many backup cans because I love this product so, 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 so much. It is the bomb. I was not expecting it out of Herbal Essences because Herbal Essences doesn't really make products for us curly hair girls. Super bomb, 10 out of 10, highly suggest I already have my backup so yes I would definitely repurchase I also went through this sun golden magnolia shea and vitamin e body lotion by bath and body works um I used to be super obsessed with it I'm not super obsessed with it anymore but I still love the fragrance I'm gonna go ahead and rate it a 9 out of 10 um because it definitely did the job the fragrance didn't last too long though but it's definitely a good lotion so I do actually suggest this if you ever see it it's a really nice refreshing scent it's really different it kind of has like a vanilla under scent with like a floral and then clean scent like it's a whole mix it's like bomb i also finished out a sesame street did i finish two of these i must have thrown the other one away but i finished two of these oh yeah i forgot to tell you guys that i threw away some of my products forgetting that i was collecting them so i have gone through more products than this but i threw away some of them on accident but here is a dollar tree sesame street 
baby wash lightly scented this right here is bomb for bubble bath i use it for bubble bath it smells good it works good it does not irritate you i don't know why the cap is stuck this stuff smells so good it kind of smells like cherries and it's only a dollar at dollar tree this stuff is the real deal definitely 10 out of 10 i definitely suggest i am already going to go back and buy some more because it's a bomb bubble bath bubble bath as you guys know i use this as my feminine wash <laughs> obviously 10 out of 10 definitely suggest i've suggested it so many different times um will i repurchase it i already have a backup it is the baby dove tip to toe wash um the rich moisture one i've been using the fragrance free one lately but this one is also super bomb it's one of the lightest scents oh my gosh i love it so much it's a light clean scent i mean it works really good for your downstairs area that's personally what i use it for um i also like to use it to wipe off my mascara i mean to clean off my mascara i do not like using micellar water or anything like that i know it's not bad for you but i just don't like tugging at my eyes even though you're supposed to be super gentle i still don't like it my eyes get a little irritated um and the only thing that does not irritate my eyes is using baby soap to get it off very gently oh my gosh i remember this i also finished out this havana bath and body works tropical vanilla and cherry moya shower gel oh my gosh i was using it every single day it was super bomb i love it it kind of has like a cactus under scent like a prickly pear with vanilla super weird but i loved it so much i definitely suggest this 10 out of 10 oh my gosh i also finished the two of these crest 3d white radiant mint toothpaste i go through toothpaste super fast um, i'm about to finish off my other one in my bathroom right now but yeah these are super bomb they make your teeth white they leave your breath super fresh and they really do whiten your teeth like i had a really hard problem like i had a really big problem with trying to get my teeth white and these really did the job because whitening strips they hurt my teeth like my teeth are too sensitive for that i then finished out this violet lily sky fine fragrance mist by bath and body works it smells like a tanning lotion that I had before, so I did enjoy that, but I did get tired of it. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and rate it a 7.5 out of 10. Would I buy it again? No. Um, but it just kind of brought, brought back memories of my first tanning lotion ever. You know, I get tired of scents like this. Oh, I then finished out the She Alfred Sung perfume it is an eau de parfum so it's a real deal i love this it's super 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 fresh and clean one of my favorite perfumes ever you can mix it in with any perfume that you have like this is the type of perfume that you can mix in with anything i love it i already have my backup i um, mean you can buy it at tj maxx for like 16 to 20 dollars super cheap and it's a bomb perfume my mom actually introduced me to that so it's a really good perfume for super super cheap i also finished this dove advanced care go fresh apple and white tea deodorant stick and the thing with this is i actually actually have the spray the spray on deodorant and it does not smell like this this was old when i bought it i got it for full price but it smells expired it smells old so i did not like it at all it smells old i don't know why target did that to me it did the job but it just smelled old every single time i had to use it i was just like no 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 no. so i had to use it at nighttime only so i'll give it a five out of ten i also finished this luxe hair perfume in the scent sugar bliss i love these i just picked up two of them and they're super bomb for my hair they make my hair smell so 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 good they make your hair smell so sweet and sugary um, I love it. It's, it's such a feminine scent and it actually is super strong. So when you're wearing perfume, it'll also mix in with your perfume and make you smell even better. I then finished out this Flamingo Foaming Shaving Gel. I loved it so much. One of the best shaving gels ever. It really resembled the smell Angel. No, Heavenly. Heavenly by Victoria's Secret. It smells like that perfume. And so I really did like it and it worked bomb so definitely a 10 out of 10 would i suggest without a doubt this right here this not your mother's way to grow leave-in conditioner this right here really does help grow your hair it really does boost your hair growth and it also makes your hair smell so good so if you have to refresh your hair and you can't really wash your hair like if you have to get out the door really quickly i definitely suggest putting this like on your scalp in your hair and then spraying some of this luxe hair perfume that you can get at walmart and this at walmart as well it'll make your hair smell super good 10 out of 10 what i suggest to everybody yes ma'am i suggest this to everybody no matter what your hair type is i then finished out this love and sunshine ultra shade body cream by bath and body works oh my gosh i'm so sad that it's gone like i really i really wish that i could bring it back like refill it i'm gonna have to go ahead and order some because i didn't see it in the store the other day i'm gonna have to go ahead and order it all over again um this is the best scent in the whole entire world this body cream 10 100 percent 100 out of 10 but i suggest please go get it if you ever see this love and sunshine scent please get it one of my top favorite scents ever this will have you smelling so clean and good and fresh and sweet and feminine and classy and you know just bomb and i also have the matching body spray that i finished off same exact thing 10 out of 10 i loved it it was actually pretty strong like it was strong and it also just had me smelling so 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 good i got a lot of compliments on this scent i then finished out this dove powder 24 hour invisible solid 
deodorant. I love this deodorant. 10 out of 10. One of my favorite deodorants in the whole entire world. I have gotten so many thank yous about me mentioning this product on my channel. It is so, so, so good. Um, it makes you smell super powdery and like, it makes you smell like baby powder, but like stronger. If you're not really big on perfumes and stuff like that, definitely get that strong deodorant because it'll really have you smelling really fresh and clean. I then finished out this Clinique Acne Solutions Clinical Clearing Gel. It is one of the best acne gels in the whole entire world. It's really expensive. It's like $30, but it works so amazing. 10 out of 10. Definitely suggest to all my girls struggling with acne. And with that being said, those are all the products that I have finished in these last two months. Yes, I know it's a lot of products. Anyway, your girl has been talking for way too dang long. I need to go ahead and head up out of here. I'm not going to hold you guys up. Most of the time when I'm sitting in front of my ring light, I have like a really bad headache. I was just seeing a meme on TikTok and it was like, why do girls always have to feel sick like every single day like I literally have really bad headaches I have eye aches um stomach aches like I deal with a lot so usually when I'm in front of the camera like in front of a light it makes it even worse so like my head is like throbbing right now um and I still have to get in front of my computer and get some editing done and upload a video as well today but I love every single one of you guys god bless you all and the mighty powerful <laughs> Thick. mighty powerful name of the lord jesus christ king jesus amen and your girl's gonna go ahead and head up out of here goodbye <laughs>